Hey there, Tater Tots. Welcome back to the third week of Amazed. My name is Jarrett. I'm Gabrielle. So I have been witnessing this internet trend of doing the Whisper Challenge. That's correct. And Here's. I think it would be super fun if we try it. Yes. Here's how it's going to work. Jarrett's going to put those on. Mm -hmm. I got a song all queued up for him. I'm going to play the song, read off these slips of paper, and he's going to try to read my lips and figure out what I'm saying even though he can't hear me. Okay, here's the song. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? I can hear you. Great, I'm assuming he can't hear me. Let's see. Did you fart? <laughs> uh, little dart. Did you fart? Did you fart? That's pretty good. All right, let's do another one really quick. I didn't know we were doing farts. <laughs> I ate your sister's pancakes. I am interested in your pancakes. I ate your Not sister's Not nice. You pancakes. don't say pancakes. I, I hate pancakes. I ate. I hate being I late to the pancakes. <laughs> <laughs> I, I ate, ate your, your pancakes. Sister's your pancakes. sister's pancakes. Woohoo! Kill it. I hate. <laughs> I, I like, like when wa wants, when when you sniff your dog. You sniff dogs. Your dog. When the door is hard. When <laughs> when you you sniff sniff your your dog. Dog. Woohoo! You're done. Good job. <laughs> My turn. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Turn up the volume maybe a little bit. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. Go away, evil Mr. Scissors. What? Go. Go. Away. Away. Evil Mr. What's the second scissors. word? Away. 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 Go away. Mm -hmm. Evil. Evil. Mr. Mr. Scissors. Sister. Scissors. Snickers. <laughs> Scissors. <laughs> Go away, Mr. Evil. Go away, evil, Mr. Scissors. Go away, evil, Mr. Scissors. Scissors, yeah! <laughs> Got one. I love eggs. I love hens. I love hens. <laughs> eggs. I love I love eggs. I love eggs! Eggs! Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, a piece of cake. A piece of toast. A, a piece of cake. A, a piece. A piece. Of. Of. Cake. Ten. Cake. <laughs> Ten. Cake. Cake! Cake! A piece of cake! <laughs> that worked! <laughs> All right. That was great. That was a total success. Yeah, not hard at all. Yeah. Just kidding. I was, I was bad. Yeah, <laughs> I was not great. But it, it does remind us that it can be really hard to listen when there are distractions going on, which is kind of what we're going to talk about today, about learning how to listen to God even when you're, there's lots of things going on around you. Yeah. Which reminds me of our turn and talk question, yes. which is, What's the funniest thing that you've ever heard someone say? That's right. Turn and talk to someone near you and let them know. Watch the darkness slip away Put your power on display Say goodbye to fear and shame
there, little chicken nuggets. It's me, Carl. Welcome to Grow TV. Welcome to Grow TV. Hosted by Carl. Where we have fun with our friends, talk about Jesus, and go over everything the Bible has to offer. Now, once again, welcome to Grow TV. Hi there, little chicken nuggets. It's great to see each and every one of you. Today I want to play a game. Do you guys want to play a game? I can't hear you. I can't hear you. No, I, I actually can't hear, uh, I can't hear you. I, 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 I can't hear you because this is a camera, it's a video, and you're not in this room with me, so. <laughs> but I'm in the room with you. Yeah. It's all right. We'll play anyways. So the game I want to play is called Spot the Difference. Hmm. We'll see. Do you guys see a difference? Hmm. Ah! Well, that one's missing a flower, and that one's missing a leaf. Next one! Well, this is kind of fun. A little ocean theme with the little fishies in the water. Let's see. Hmm. Can you guys see it? Hmm. Aha! This one has a tree and a cloud, and this one doesn't. Easy. Next one! Ah, let's see here. The woman at the well. Ah, what is the difference? Aha! There's a rope in this one, and not a rope in that one. Done. Alright, let's figure this one out. Um, uh, I mean, they kind of look exactly the same. Oh. Um, uh, what? Oh, we're getting a call. Look at this be. Carl, what's going on, man? Hey, TJ. We're just playing a game. Maybe you could help out. I can try. What's, what's going on? I'm trying to figure out the difference between these two photos. I'm having the hardest time. I know they're in there. I just can't find them. Here, let me take a look. I'm telling you, it's the hardest one yet. Yeah, yeah, I guess it is. I... Wait a minute. Carl. <laughs> Carl, man. What? What'd you find? That's the same picture, man. The same picture? What do you mean? It's the same picture. There's no difference between the two. No, it can't be. Oh. <laughs> oh, you're right. <laughs> That's my bad. Here's the real second picture. <laughs> yep. Yeah, okay, well, yeah, that one's a little bit easier, but I, I get where you're going with this. <laughs> Well, that didn't go as planned. So where are you today, TJ? Well, I was going to go over this week's Bible story with you. Well, that sounds great. Where's the story at? First Kings chapter 19. We're still talking about Elijah. That guy had a crazy life. He sure did. God had big plans for him. You can say that again. What happened in this story? Well, King Ahab told Jezebel what happened on Mount Carmel, you know, with the whole false god thing. And boy, was she angry with Elijah. But it wasn't his fault. He was worshiping the wrong God. I know, but she didn't care. She told Elijah that she wanted to hurt him. And Elijah got scared. I would too. I don't want nobody to hurt me. So Elijah went a long way away and he was sad and didn't want to keep going. So he prayed to God, laid down and went to sleep. That's the end of the story? He got tired and took a nap? Not quite. You see, when he was asleep, an angel came down and tapped him. And when he woke up, he found water and food next to him. Wow, isn't that cool? It really was. And after that, he had more energy, so he traveled for a long time. And then one day, God spoke to Elijah. God did what? God spoke to Elijah. Wow, that's really cool. It makes sense though, he was a prophet. So what did God say? 
God told Elijah to go up on a mountain because the Lord was going to pass by. What? That's awesome. So God, the Lord Almighty, was going to pass by Elijah? This is going to be huge. What happened? Well, there was a wind. A wind? Yeah, yeah. A wind so strong, so powerful, that it tore the mountains apart and shook the rocks around Elijah. Holy guacamole! <laughs> that was God! That's the thing. God wasn't in the wind. Really? What happened next? Well, get this. Then an earthquake started. <laughs> what? A quake of the earth? <laughs> yeah, but God wasn't in the earthquake either. Really? Really. But then came fire. Fire? Fire. But God wasn't in the fire either. Oh, come on. How is this possible? <laughs> Don't worry, because the next thing that happened, God was there. What was it? A tornado? An avalanche? A tsunami? A fire show? What? A whisper. A whisper? What? Yeah. God showed up in a small whisper to Elijah. God spoke to Elijah, not by a strong wind or by an earthquake or a fire, but by whisper. Huh, that is so cool. Kind of strange, but cool. <sighs> I wish I was a prophet like Elijah. Well, why do you say that? Well, it'd be cool to have God speak to me like that. God does. Uh, what are you talking about, TJ? I've read the Bible, and I see a God speaking to all types of special people. But that's not the case for me. Carl, man, of course it is. It may not come through an earthquake, a, a, a strong wind, or a fire. But just like the last picture we looked at, where there's no difference, there is no difference between you and Elijah. God loves you just as much, and God speaks to you. Wow, I guess I never looked at it like that. It's amazing. God speaks to me. Hey, Carl, you just said our big idea. <laughs> no way. Today's big idea is, it's amazing, God speaks to me. And on the count of three, we'll all say it out loud and together. One, two, three. It's, it's amazing. amazing. God, God speaks, speaks to me. To me. <laughs> all right. God speaks Good to me. Good job, everybody. God speaks to me. Good job. Well, I feel much better knowing that God speaks to me. You should. It's pretty exciting. You know what else is exciting? <laughs> What's that? No, I was asking. What else is exciting? <laughs> You crazy, man. Hey, kids, we'll see y'all next time. See you guys next week. <laughs> DJ, what's exciting? Thank you for watching and tune in next week for a new episode of Road TV. Hello, it's Amazing Maisie, and I'm here to show you another amazing trick. Here I have all these little red balls in these purple cups, and I'm going to make one of these red balls travel through one of these purple cups. Watch. Isn't that pretty amazing? Okay, okay, I'll tell you the secret. I didn't actually do anything that amazing. You see, while I was placing these cups out, I strategically placed two of these red balls so that it made it look like it traveled through the purple cup, even though that didn't actually happen. So it isn't actually that amazing of a trick, but what is amazing is that the God of the universe wants to speak to you. It is a little tricky to learn how to hear from God, but it's true that he is always listening to us, and that is what's really amazing. Man, I love that story, and Amazing Maisie's trick was pretty cool today. It's so cool that the Lord talks to us in lots of different ways. He can talk to us through prayer, through other people in our lives, and through the Bible. Yeah, which reminds me of our memory verse because that's one way that God can speak to us um, through the memory verses that are scripture that we um, can remember. So, me and Gabrielle are gonna grab our Bibles and you're encouraged to do the same. Yeah. All right, so our memory verse is Deuteronomy 7.21, the second part of the verse. The Lord your God who is among you is a great and awesome God. Mm -hmm. Yeah.
It's a good verse. It's a great verse. And so if you guys can remember that verse and you can say it on a video that's your parents' video of you, and then you send it into kidzone at newheights.org, then you can be entered for a chance to win our prize, which is Amazing Maisie's Box of Tricks. So send that in, and we'll love to see those videos of you saying our memory verse. And we'll see you next week. Yeah. Bye, guys. Bye.